Evelyn Kapler is here now with the Office of Adolescent Health, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Thank you for joining me. Adolescent health is so important. This is our future, right? So talk about this new TAG program. Well, Adolescent Health Think Act Grow, or what we call TAG, is a national call to action to improve adolescent health. We launched it at APHA in 2014, and we've been here every year since. TAG seeks to place adolescent health on the national agenda, to reach and engage a wide range of professionals who work with youth, and to spur action at the national, state, and local level. And TAG is really based on five essentials for adolescents. The first is positive connections with caring adults, safe and secure places to live, learn, and play, access to teen-friendly, high-quality health care services, coordinated family and adolescent-centered social services, and most importantly, engaging young people in their own health and the decision-making around their health. What do you think are some of the biggest challenges in dealing with adolescent health right now that adolescents are dealing with themselves as well? Well, I think it's important to realize that the adolescent period is so critical to health promotion and disease prevention. While we recognize the importance of a healthy start for infants and children, all too often we overlook that adolescent period. And it's also important to realize that often the influencers of adolescent health lie outside of the healthcare system. It's the social determinants of health, the environments in which young people are growing and learning and hopefully thriving. While we know that most young people are generally healthy, unfortunately there are still many young people who face challenges. Challenges around obesity, trauma, mental health, substance use and addiction, and that's what TAG is looking to move forward with, improving adolescent health for all adolescents as well as for those who are facing special challenges. What is the key to getting everyone in the community involved to realize it's not just inside the home but really outside and the entire experience that adolescents have? Well, positive youth development really plays a role in engaging young people in their own health care and it's brought out from the prevention field. Traditionally, prevention has focused on a single issue and experts have come to learn that positive youth development and engaging young people in the decision making about their own health ensures that those programs and activities that are designed for them will be utilized in their own decision making. And the key is engaging young people as part of the process so that it's engaging them and with them about that work and not just seeing them as um, beneficiaries of social programs. When you talk about engaging them, I think sometimes we have to think outside the box because as adults, we may think, okay, we'll read, but they're so attached to their phones and social media. And is there a new approach to try to really get the message out in a way that they will hear it and absorb it? Well, certainly social media plays a role. We know that young people spend so much time on their phones. It's one way in which to engage them. There are many other ways, including access to um, other caring adults involving them in decision making around programs and activities that are, that are being developed for them. And it's really about engaging with young people rather than designing programs for young people. And that success is the future of our country. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Ellen. Thank you.